Hi, everybody, and happy, happy 2023. I hope that you all had a great New Year's, whatever that may be. And we're a little bit late getting back to you here because there was a big storm in Alameda and part of the island was underwater. I'm very happy that we are not underwater and I'm very grateful that my house survived and so did I. Anyhow, this is gonna be a great year and I'm inviting you to be part of that. So today's episode is gonna be a little bit different. What I'm going to do is talk about energy and we'll show a little bit of a slideshow and to invite you yet again to be part of those energy fields. So for the last four decades, I've been not only an animal advocate, but I've been doing acupuncture and energy work with the animals, as you know. And during that time, I moved from doing actually acupuncture using needles, a lot of times just doing energy work. And the animals have shown me over this long period of time how to access the energy fields. And it's something that you are always doing all of the time. And I'd like to keep reminding you of it so that you can help your animal friends. So we're going to share the screen here. And start the slideshow. As soon as I can find it, there it is. And slideshow. Okay, guys, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, come on, come on. Here we go. Okay, so this episode is playing with your animal family. I didn't want to do anything really heavy for the beginning of the year. And instead, I wanted to increase our happiness with our animals that they've shown us. So this, of course, is Mr. Nick, as you know. I love you so much. And this is what you do. You're a great accessory cat, especially after big storms that you like to go out in. You come home and you lay your wet body wherever you can. And you groom and you clean yourself. And I love you for it. It's beautiful and sunny, much love, accessory cat. So that, as you can see, is how I talk with my cat. And I totally love him no matter how crazy he is. And he does love to go out in the outdoors, especially in a storm, and then come in and just expect me to love him up, even if he's super wet. So we're looking at the chi fields of animals and animals seem to hold the inner space way more fluidly than we as humans do. And when we partner with the animals, we're merging our energy fields. So they're helping us to intuit and feel more. There's definitely an interconnectedness. Here's my niece, Sophie, with an alpaca. Look at the expressions, feel those expressions. These pictures and little videos are meant to help you experience what I'm trying to put across. How do you feel in the presence of this majestic animal? And this, I call him Mr. Handsome. He's my friend Susie's uh, great bull. And look at him, he's just gorgeous. Here are my nephews in Turkey recently riding a camel. What do you feel around that? Look at them. They're part of this big energy field and they're having fun. So our interconnectedness is happening all of the time. Those of you who know me and most of you do, you've brought your animals to me or we've talked on the phone or on these consults and we'll do a session together. And these are some of the quotes that you tell me. I like to come with my dog because the Qigong and acupuncture session he receives relaxes me so much that I could take a nap. She gets calm and settled and I feel healed. Or I was focused on the physical issues and forgot about the emotional and spiritual issues that he might be carrying that affect him. Now, all of you know from working with me that we look at not only the physical, but all of the environmental, mental, behavioral, and spiritual aspects of the animals. So here's a little video that Terry sent in of playing with her dog, Desi, and how they play chase. 
So they're waiting for a direction at this point. Okay, here we go. We're off and running. Yeah, go around, go around, go around. <laughs> it makes you laugh. It also makes you move and the other animals in the house get experience and exercise. Okay, they're both out of breath from this. The more exercise, the more fun, the more movement of energy. This keeps us healthy. So energy fields are about experiencing everything around our bodies. We don't have to discuss belief systems with our cat or dog or bird or horse or cow, but we do use body language, different vocal sounds, knowing where our boundaries are, body temperature and flexibility, and this all gives us the messages. So what message do you get from Mr. Cody? Mr. Cody is, belongs to Mimi, who's part of our, <clears throat> excuse me, part of our group. And Mr. Cody looks wonderfully comfortable. Don't you wanna just crawl up in that blanket with him? So cute. Mr. Lucas, who's playing with Susan. They're both having fun. This is Alma and Mishka and Sophie. Alma and Mishka are the dogs. Sophie is making the food. This is a very familiar picture to a lot of you. This is a very familiar picture. How do you feel when you see that? How do you feel when you're experiencing that? So we're always connecting with our animals, friends, and their energy fields, their chi fields. And we do it with scanning, we do it with thinking, we do it with emotional moods, we do it with singing. How many of you sing with your animals? I certainly sing with Nick, whether he likes it or not. And they're always critics, you know. Sound making sounds. So there are different sounds that go along with organ systems in the body, the healing sounds. The healing sound for relieving tension from the liver is shh. So, Inhale, hail through the nose and shh. And that will help relieve tension in your body. Light, the colors that come in. The differences in how your animal responds to the daylight, the sunlight, the nighttime. And of course, the scanning. And those of you who worked with me know about the scanning. And I just wanted to remind you to get a little bit of practice in. So scanning is done with the palm. And the very center of the palm is the pericardium six. The pericardium goes from your nipple down the inside of your arm to the palm down to the middle finger. And this is your antenna. This is how you pick up information from the universe. And we use it over the tops of the body, the sides of the body, the legs. We'll either do it from massage touching or all the way out. And we do it to feel different things. We notice heat or coldness, fullness, emptiness. There's a different texture, a different feeling. Where we feel something, it's usually an area of stagnation because there's a difference from one side to the other, from where we are to when we move on. So the point of healing and of scanning and is moving that energy, smoothing it out, moving it, nurturing it, love it. When we do that, we help to restore the balance. These are some pictures of the bioenergetic areas, sometimes known as chakras. This is looking down on the animal. And I want you to notice the first area is around the pelvis and the hips. The color red is associated with it. The next one up between your uh, lumbar area and the pelvic girdle is the kidneys or the second chakra and it's orange. In the middle of the body, this governs the digestive organs, the liver, the pancreas, the stomach, the gallbladder. Moving up to the chest, this is the color green with the heart and the lung. Around the throat is blue and this is used for helping the thyroid as well as the vocalization. The third eye is purple, and then the top of the head is a clear white. 
this is how it looks from the side. So we're having the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. And these are areas that we can manipulate or work with both color and energy. And when you're scanning the sides and the tops or the belly, you're going through all of these energy fields. And this is how it looks when you're moving outward. It's interesting to go from 2D to 3D to 5D. Anyway, the very close to the body is the physical layer. Then you get an emotional layer, then a mental layer, then an astral layer, and it keeps going out to up to 10 or more energy fields. And that's why when you're in the presence of certain individuals, human or animal, or plant, or rock, you feel certain energies. And it's the shimmering out of the individual that you interact with. And with these interactions, with these fields, boundaries are set up. So you want to become aware of the energetic boundaries of the individual you're working with, plant, animal, rock, you. And what you want to notice is as you move in toward another, it's that other, the one who's being approached, who sets the boundaries. So you always want to be aware to ask, to listen, and to respect. So let's go to some pictures right now. The girls. Now, where do you think their boundaries are? Here's Mr. Finn playing. And Mr. Finn's playing with Pat. Finn lives in the same house as Desi. And you see that the boundary that they're setting up is the banister. This is Samson and Jane. Look at the expressions, look at the boundaries. Who has different boundaries? This is Mr. Nick, of course, and he's laying on one of his many beds. And he's on a blanket that was given by Miss Sarah, his Auntie Sarah, and he loves it with the angels. And the toys that are surrounding him are given by a friend and colleague and client of mine, Gail Colombo, with cat fairies in San Francisco, who makes these great catnip toys that are totally unique, and Nick loves them. This is Sophie learning how to vault on a horse, and look at the patience that that horse has. Where is that horse's boundaries? Where are Sophie's boundaries? Where is the woman who is teaching her? Where are her boundaries? What's the interaction? This is sleep security. I don't know who's securing whom, but it's definitely coexistence. This is Mr. Boudreau. And Mr. Boudreau is bold, outgoing, and very alert and fierce. So he lost his leg early on in an accident. And you'd never know it by his countenance. Where are his energy fields? How would you interact with it? And this is Nick playing with his dancer. Is he too busy? <laughs> and I'd just like to invite you to send me pictures of you playing with your animals pictures, videos, and we'll put it up and let's share it together. I'd like to, in this next year, grow the community because we're, I'm talking to the choir right now. And I love you guys and I thank you for your support. And it's my goal and intention to bring the energy fields and our ability and joy to interact with our animals, to make a better world. So let's do it together. And I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.